In this video, we will be covering the use of CopySeed in ProjectWise. In order to access this function, navigate to the project folder, then to the folder that you wish to create the new file in. Once you have navigated to that folder, select the folder, then right click and select CopySeed. The copy seed window will appear, and you'll have two text fields here at the top. This here is for the, is the file suffix used for designating the alignment and the type of file. This here is for the parent county route file naming convention. Let's go ahead and put in this one here, and I'm going to just give it a fake parent. Over here is where we would designate what alignment or what uh, sheet or what um, type of file it is. Down here, you're going to select what seed you're going to be creating your file from. The main seed file that we're going to be using is going to be the ORD2D seed. This is going to be used to create your D sheets, E sheets, plans, profiles. Uh, pretty much most of your project will be used, uh, be utilizing the 2D seed file. Start off with geometry. Geometries are going to be created for each uh, alignment, and after the vertical is added, a 3D model will be generated within that file. Then you're going to have a corridor for each geometry, and a 3D model will be generated when the corridor is created as well. All corridor design elements will be drawn within the corridor files. You'll then have super elevation files. Uh, they're going to be referenced into the corridor files. These will generate a 3D model once vertical is added to them as well. Then you will have the cross section files. This is going to be the 2D file for each alignment. Uh, the default model within these files is going to be for reference only. You're going to only reference in any files with elements to be displayed in the cross-section files. Then you're going to have the cross-section models. These are going to contain the active elements and labels, earthwork shapes, and soil shapes. These are going to be used to create cross-section sheets. Then you're going to have text files. These are going to contain plan view annotation text for each alignment. Uh, will also contain the profile cell and text for creation of plan and profile sheets. This is going to replace the layout file for GeoPack. Next we'll have the ORD 3D seed file. This is going to be mainly used for creating terrains. It's going to have one terrain for each corridor. Terrains are replacing tins. Tins are, tin surfaces are now directly embedded into the DGN file and no longer are externally stored. These files are going to be used to create DTMs, XMLs, new terrains for staging representation, as well as uh, creating new terrains for doing earthwork and other detail calculations. Next files are pretty self-explanatory to how they're labeled. We're going to have your A sheet title sheets here. We're going to have your detail seed sheets for your B, J, U sheets, etc. You have your legend sheet. This contains all of the legends like it did before. You have the template library that contains all of our templates for working outside of project wise. You have your structures overview seed, pipe culvert seed, your structures seed. Then we have our bridge modeler 3D seed for bridge. Then we have our berm and revetment seed and our plan production seed for bridge. These last four files are going to be our Excel files for our tabulations and calculations. We have our Excel tabulations here first, our M sheets for storm sewer, our T sheets for earthwork calculations, and our C sheet bridge or pro calc files. So we'll just go ahead and select the already 2D seed here to go ahead and show our example here. I'm just going to create a text file here for do it for the main alignment 35 here 
just go ahead and create the file so you can go ahead and see the process here. It's going to pop up here once it has been done creating it, showing that it has been created successfully, and then select OK. If you want to create another file, just go ahead and select that again. It'll get rid of the suffix there, and then you can rename the suffix. The name of the file is going to stay the same. So you can go ahead and generate all of the files needed for the project in just one go here. Once you're done, you'll select Exit. And you'll now see here that uh, the text file that I generated has been created within this folder. And that covers the use of the CopySeed program in ProjectWise.